Talking to people about parenting on the internet is a really weird experience. Even though I've been a child therapist for 10 years, nothing could have prepared me for the wide range of reactions that people have to certain content. There always seems to be one camp that takes one thing I say in a three minute video and will focus exclusively on that and tell me why I'm wrong or that's the wrong thing to say or do in that situation. And then there's someone who takes any kind of compassion and assistance and being aware of your child's emotional state and they react and say, I'm what's wrong with society. Let me give you an example. So I have a video about how hair washing can trigger a fight or flight response in a lot of kids. And so we need to use other methods besides force to help them get comfortable with that. Because if we force them, we're forcing them to push through their fight or flight response. And I get torn up. I, I am what's wrong with America or with the world today. Uh, kids I'm saying that kids shouldn't have to do things like basic hygiene if they don't want to do them. I've even gotten one that no one should ever pay me money for my therapy services. My wait list is six months long. I don't do any marketing for my private practice. It's all referral based. So that guy has no idea what he's talking about. And then there's the other side of the camp where they say that any kind of accountability boundary or if we make our children do certain things like washing their hair, brushing their teeth, we're forcing them and that's quote unquote bad or abusive. And I'm just over here watching it all unfold, watching people hear what they want to hear, take what they want to take from the content. And I know sometimes the way it's presented, it's all very nuanced stuff. So I don't blame anyone for their reaction, except that guy that told me I was a bad therapist. I kind of blame him because when you attack me as a human, rather than like what I'm saying, it gets to me. But parenting is hard enough. As parents, we experience enough shame in ourselves and we wonder if we're doing it right and we have guilt. We don't need every person telling us that we're doing a terrible job or what's wrong with society, all of those things. And in actuality, the healthiest thing is probably in the middle. We need to teach our kids how to exist in the world we live in while working on making the world we live in more accommodating to everybody's unique needs. So I'm gonna do everything in my power when I'm washing my child's hair and they have a nervous system reaction to it to use playfulness, make it more comfortable with them, let them do it themselves, practice on their Barbies, do all the things to make it more comfortable for them. And if that still doesn't work, then I'm going to be as gentle and as loving as possible. Because both things can be true. We can be considerate and loving and gentle and understanding and also still have boundaries. And the human brain just wants to see things as black and white and it's just not that.